Hi everyone, so if I had to summarize that video in one sentence, from April 2025, all vehicles will be paying tax, even the EVs. So the UK government is trying to push us towards electric vehicles. But with the latest changes to road tax on EVs, it seems like we're being punished for doing the right thing. As of April 2025, EV owners will have to pay vehicle excess duty or VAD which was previously zero. So that is going to be probably a rhetorical question, but what do you guys think? Is that the best way to encourage the mass adoption of electric vehicles? Let's break down the new taxes and what it means to you if you're driving an EV or planning on buying one. Before we dive into the specifics, let me tell you why I think this may not be the best move to incentivize the switch to electric. EVs, while somehow better for the environment, still have a few issues. First one, higher upfront costs, big depreciation, range anxiety is the one that everyone is concerned about, and the limited charging infrastructure. And now, on top of all that, EV owners will face a new tax burden. So what exactly is changing in April 2025? First off, from April 2025, electric vehicles will lose their exemption from vehicle excess duty. EVs will no longer have free road tax. Here is what that looks like in detail. If your EV was registered between April 1st, 2017 and March 31st, 2025, you will have to start paying £190 per year in tax from April 2025. This includes popular models like Tesla Model 3, Model Y, Kia e Niro, and MG4. Now, if you're planning to buy an EV after April 1st, 2025, there is a little twist. In the first year, you will pay a lower rate, just £10. But from the second year onwards, you are back to that £190 annually. And gets even more expensive if you're eyeing a premium EVs, those with a list price of over £40,000. That includes models such as Tesla Model X, BMW i4, Audi Q4 e-tron, the Polestar 2, Porsche Taycan, and so on and so forth. For these, on top of the annual £190, you will pay an additional £390 every year for the first five years. So that's £580 per year for the first five years. But what if you've got an older EV, say one registered before April 1st, 2017? Good news for you, those vehicles will only pay £20 per year. A small relief, but not exactly encouraging if you're thinking of upgrading. So why I think imposing that VAD on EVs is a problem? Well, to begin with, EVs are already more expensive upfront compared to their petrol and diesel counterparts. Charging infrastructure is still catching up. Range anxiety is still very real and now with the added taxes it makes the switch less appealing and let's be real a lot of people that are switching to EVs or the ones that are driving already EVs have made that choice because they wanted to save money maybe save the environment as well if they're more on the environmental side but more people in my opinion are doing it to save money Imposing that tax, it just makes it less appealing. The VED for electric vehicles may be lower compared to that on a lot of internal combustion engine cars, but that added cost will definitely slow down the adoption right when the government is actually telling us that we need to accelerate it. So that is a little bit confusing to me. What do you think? Is that the right way to push people towards electric vehicles or the government should rethink their approach? Let me know and don't forget to subscribe.